Hi, it's Kerry. I've got some really interesting information about sharks today. This video contains more advanced concepts and technical terminology and is suitable for viewers aged 13 and over. Sit back and relax with the music. How do sharks stop sinking or floating up in the water? They have several adaptions that can help them be neutrally buoyant. Sharks like tree bones but have skeletons made of cartilage that are much lighter. Sharks also have large livers full of low density oils which provide some buoyancy. Sharks have five different types of fins. The paired pectoral fins are located ventrally near the anterior or front end of the shark. They are used primarily for lift as the shark swims. The dorsal fin is the one that you see skimming along the water's surface. Sharks may have one or two dorsal fins that act to stabilise the shark during swimming. The second one is usually found posteriorly towards the tail to the first larger dorsal fin. If a shark has an anal fin, it is for stability. It is located on the ventral or bottom side between the pelvic and caudal fins. The caudal fin is also called the tail fin. It is the upper half and lower half of the shark's tail, not equal in size, with the upper portion usually the larger. This is especially so for the thresher shark. Its upper tail lobe is longer than the shark's body. This fin propels the shark through the water as it swims. Have you ever wondered how you can tell a male from a female shark? Well, male sharks have paired intermittent organs called claspers. Claspers are modifications of the pelvic fins and are located on the inner margin of the pelvic fins. Females do not have claspers. Have you ever wondered how sharks reproduce. All sharks have internal fertilization. Mating has been observed in relatively few species of sharks, but both hormonal and behavioral cues are likely involved. The female is passive and the male bites and grasps her with his teeth to hold on during copulation. The male inserts the clasper into the female's cloaker and releases sperm. Some female sharks can store the sperm. During ovulation, the female releases oocytes from the ovary. Then these oocytes are fertilized by sperm and the fertilized ova are encapsulated in an egg case in a specialized organ called the nidamental or shell gland. The ovipara species lay eggs. The vivipara species give birth to live young. Sharks exhibit a great diversity in reproductive modes. A baby shark is called a pup. Can sharks live in fresh water? Most sharks live only in the marine environment in full strength salt water. Some coastal shark species can survive in brackish estuaries with mixed fresh water and salt water. There are two species that are capable of surviving in fresh water for any length of time and that is the bull shark and the spear tooth shark. Why do basking sharks swim with their mouths open? Well, that's because a continuous flow of water goes into their mouth 
and food is strained from the water by gill rakers located in the gill slits. It occasionally closes its mouth to swallow its prey. Do sharks have tongues? They have a tongue referred to as a bezihyle. It is a small, thick piece of cartilage located on the floor of the mouth of sharks and other fishes. Most sharks are cold-blooded or ectothermic. Their body temperatures match the temperature of the water around them. There are five species that have some warm-blooded or endothermic capabilities. These are the mackerel sharks from the family Lanidae, which includes the mako sharks. This family has the unique ability to elevate their internal body temperatures above that of their surrounding environment by the use of a highly developed network of blood vessels that retain the heat produced by their muscles. How do sharks detect prey? It depends on the species. They use their sense of smell, which is chemoreception, vision, hearing, the lateral line system and electroreception for capturing prey. The lateral line system, which all fishes possess, allows them to detect waves of pressure or mechanical disturbances in the water. At last we've got to the whales. The whale is any of the largest species of aquatic mammals belonging to the order Cetacea. The term whale can be used in reference to any cetacean including porpoises and dolphins but in general it is applied to those more than 3 metres or 10 feet long. An exception is the dwarf sperm whale. Whales are the heaviest known animals, living or fossil, reaching a maximum size in the blue whale of perhaps more than 30 metres and 200 metric tonnes. Whales are distributed throughout the world's oceans and seas from the equator to the polar ice. They are mammals and they share the defining traits of that group. They breathe air, they're warm blooded, give live birth, suckle their young on milk and have hair. All are entirely aquatic with specialized adaptions such as flippers and tail flukes for living in water. Whales must surface regularly to breathe in an almost explosive breath known as a blow. Blows are visible because water vapour in the whale's hot breath condenses when the blow is released. Subscribe and like if you like sharks and whales. Thank you for watching my video. See you again soon. See you guys in my next video.